On September 2nd of 2022, the IFF mainframe databases, servers, and your personal private information were hacked and we were ransomware. Is this your first time hearing about it? If so, let me tell you the story. My name is Braden Frame and I'm running to be IAFF General President and this is one of the reasons why. Over a quarter million dollars of your union dues have gone to companies like Tetra Defense hired by the IAFF to help us recover from the ransomware attack of September of last year. Our systems were breached, our databases, files, and records were encrypted, and as many of you may remember, we were unable to pay per capita, we were unable to access the banking records for auto pay, you were unable to make changes to the membership rosters, and the IFF.org system was completely down in from September of last year. The hack, the damage, the ransomware attack remains today. The phone system still doesn't work at the IAFF because that service, that database has still been unable to be restored from backups. If you didn't know about this, you have to ask yourself why. The first place I'd start is I'd encourage every member to contact their local president and ask them if they knew. But I'll tell you the answer. In most cases, local presidents were not informed. The reason why is simple. Back in September of 2022, I was a member of, of the strategic campaigns team. And at that time, I was briefed directly by Tim Dupin, uh, the head of the government and strategic campaigns division, who had told us the directive from the general president was clear. Don't tell the membership. There's no reason for them to know. I couldn't believe it. Many of you know me to be bold and outspoken about important issues when it comes to our data and our security. I raised the red flag and demanded that we do something. The international general president and his team were not moved. They still haven't communicated with the membership and told them the truth. But I was able to make some progress in my district. My district vice president heard my concerns and he penned an email to the leadership of our district to let them know what had happened. It was a very simple email. The IFF databases have been breached. We're being held by ransomware and we encourage you to change your password because if you use the password on IFF.org, it is possible that the hackers have your email address and your password and your name and your birth date and your home address. And that's enough to steal your identity. Protect yourselves. In the only communication from the head office to any members in the entire IAFF, the general president elected to lie to our membership. He lied to me. He lied to my friends who are presidents down here, and he told us very simply that the IAFF is not being held hostage. Nothing could be further from the truth. But then he took it a step further and he gave bad advice. He said, experts are telling us not to change your password on any website. It's unfathomable. Anyone who knows anything about computers knows that if there's a breach, you change your password. And then he took the ultimate step. The general president directed local presidents to not tell their membership. In fact, he put it in bold that it was his advice that they do not contact or inform the membership at this time. Brothers and sisters, ask yourselves, what's he hiding? Why can't he be honest? Why won't he tell us the truth? Why couldn't he be upfront about this? These are serious problems that deserve serious answers. A quarter million dollars of your money have gone into restoring databases and backups. And rumor is, there's a report being put together by Tetra Defense now to detail what they have found out about who breached our systems, how it happened, and what they did to recover. I want a copy of that report, and I hope you do too. Frankly, I think you deserve it. These are serious problems that we have, and it's a serious lapse in judgment for a leader to direct local presidents to not inform their members about issues that affect their own personal security their financial independence, and their identity in this digital age. We need a leadership and a general president with a vision that will protect your data, build on the technological opportunities of the day, and protect ourselves from the technological threats of right now. And most importantly, we need leadership that can just be honest, transparent, look you in the face and tell you what happened. My name is Braden Frame, and I'm running for IAFF general president. We have a serious conversation before us, and these are serious issues. There's no time for liars who won't tell you the truth. There's no time for cowards who won't be honest. 
And there's no time for people who won't share with you the basic advice and information to protect yourselves when your data and your security is on the line. I look forward to the conversation that's coming and hope that you'll join me. Reach out. My cell phone number is 512-413-6953. Or you can reach me at my website, bradenframe.com. I'd like to present to your membership. I'd like to talk to you and your executive board. Our union's at a crossroads, and we need leadership that's ready for the next generation of firefighters who need our support and our vision to invest in the future. And that starts at the home office. Thank you for your time, and let's get to work.